Hello, this is Gio, and what we have here is a bunch of wires. Now the power is off, so uh, I don't have to, I'm not going to get electrocuted. But uh, what I'm doing today is replacing the standard receptacle, 15 amp receptacle plug, and I'm going to replace it with a ground fault circuit interrupter or uh, GFCI, which you see right here. Let me take this out of the box. And so this is what it looks like. Uh, it, 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 the, the main difference, well, it, it is rectangular other than this kind of odd shape, but it has two buttons. Both of these buttons right here are uh, in white. Uh, they could be one could be in red and the other one black, but in this case it's just white. And one's a test button and one's a reset button. Now what these, wh well, what is ground fault? Well, um, well the ground faults when the current flows somewhere else, let's say a bunch of water hits this and the electricity goes into the water. Well, uh, the current is flowing someplace else. Or let's say a mouse chews on one of these wires. Well, uh, the current th could go someplace else. And when that happens, this will break and prevent the current from flowing. And then when the current fl stops flowing, that could save your life. And uh, so that, that's why you see a lot of these GFCI receptacles in uh, places like bathrooms, near sinks, primarily where water is present because anytime water gets splashed on a receptacle, it could make uh, a ground fault and could electrocute you and these kind of help protect. But you can, uh, you can install these uh, other places as well. Now, like I said, I have turned off the power. I have checked every one of these wires. There's actually three different cables coming in, and each one has a black, a white, and a ground wire. And I have tested each one of these and made sure that the power is off. That actually, uh, the power is off at the circuit breaker, which you should do before working on uh, any receptacle. I turned it off before I took out the plate, and I basically before I touched this, I turned off uh, the power at the breaker. And, but I also tested to figure out which wire is the um, line wire or the hot wire. And these are the hot wires right here. These are secondary uh, circuits uh, to lights, etc., or uh, different receptacles. So these are kind of outgoing uh, load lines, and this is the, the line uh, wire right here. This is the hot wire here, and that'll be important in a second. So just looking at this uh, different receptacle, it, it looks very similar. You kind of have two wires here, in this case kind of gold, uh, gold uh, terminals right here, which actually uh, the black wires connect to. On the other side is more silvery terminals, uh, very similar to this one as well. That's where the white wire gets connected. And uh, on the bottom there's a place for the grounding wire. Now this, this one that I took out, the standard receptacle, uh, has what's called a pigtail uh, for the grounds. So you have three grounding wires here. It's connected with a little cap, a nut, a wire nut, and then you get a main wire coming in. And this is generally per code and this is generally how you uh, wire those things up. If you see a bunch of grounding wires in one terminal, that's wrong. You should really have a pigtail just like this. But I'll go ahead and take this off and uh, start rewiring our new G GFCI. I'm going to go ahead and straighten out this grounding wire here because in my new re my new receptacle it's going to go in straight and I'll show you just in a sec just like that. Now I'm just going to take the new uh, uh, outlet and uh, the ground is right here but there's also this little um, this little uh, terminal clamp which is right here. You could either loop it around this this uh, this screw nut here, or you can set it underneath this little term, ter terminal plate, which I'm going to be doing right now. So I'm just going to kind of set it underneath this plate, and then go ahead and secure this Phillips screw, just like that. And that that'll hold it in a little bit more secure, and uh, so it will be less likely to slip out. And there you go. There the grounding wire is in. Okay, next I want to get back to this idea of line versus load wire. Uh, now, the line wire up here, which is the hot wires, um, now they go in a special place. You notice that uh, you, you, we have two terminals up here, one silver, one gold, 
and then two terminals down here but this one's covered in yellow tape well this is the load uh, terminals those are the ones for the outgoing wires the ones that go to your other receptacles or your lighting these here are the power ones these are the line loads and so you have to make sure you put them in the correct location because if you uh, reverse them the outlet will still work but it won't act as a fault uh, protector so it won't actually do what this expensive little plug is supposed to be doing so we're going to go ahead and stick in uh, the line load wires now and so we have gold silver and so and the, both of them have little plates here so we're going to go underneath and go ahead and connect the white wire like that and then we're going to go again underneath this plate like that and then secure the black wire to the gold terminal just like that and so we know that the hot wires the, the line wires are connected in their proper location and only now uh, now that we know those run securely uh, let's go ahead and take this yellow um, tape off and these are exposing the load terminals and it actually says right here line and then load you could actually read it right here on the uh, receptacle with those exposed, I'm just going to have to take one set, come one set of cables, and install those in uh, one of the terminals here. Oh, hold on, make sure that I'm doing. Let's see, that's gold and that's silver. All right, so make sure we put them in the right place. Actually, I have to loosen the terminal. Stick one there, and I'll grab the other white wire, put it on the opposite, and these little these little terminal clamps are very handy because you could stick in two wires in uh, one little uh, terminal clamp, and they secure them very well. Where if you actually try to secure them in uh, with with the screw nut, it'd be very uh, generally insecure. So that holds very nicely and so we'll go ahead and install the black wires in the gold terminal. Sometimes with all these wires here it can be kind of hard to maneuver. Okay, so let's review what we did. So we took the grounding wire, we put it in the gro grounding under the grounding terminal plate, and then we first uh, installed the line wires or the power wires, and put them in the uh, their line the, the line terminals, which is in this case was the uppermost terminals. The uh, white one went into the silver ter terminal, the black one went into the gold terminal. And then we took the uh, load wires, the ones that go out to your other receptacles or lighting. Uh, these go into the terminals that were covered with the yellow tape. So everything looks like everything is uh, properly installed. And so what I like to do at this point is I actually like taking some electrical tape and I actually like to just kind of cover these terminals uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it, um, well, actually one reason, it kind of helps protect these terminals from contact because these grounding wires are exposed and uh, sometimes if you're not careful, they could shift uh, in there. You can move them around and actually touch these terminals and that's not good. So I always like to stick in some electrical tape to kind of cover those. It helps protect them a little bit. And then you just want to try to fold them as neatly as you can back into the box. Now, especially with so many wires, it could get pretty cramped. And so you want to kind of control the bends initially. First put in this wire and then 
kind of control the bends and you can apply a little pressure not too much but basically I've tried to control the bends up and down and then you just kind of depress it in and then secure the screws to the box. And then once the uh, receptacles all secure, you want to go ahead and put your uh, faceplate, your new faceplate, back on. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the power and test test out our new receptacle. And here we go. We turn the power back on in the breaker. Okay, with the power back on, we want to test, make sure we wired it correctly. We have this little tester here. Uh, when these two lights right here come on together, and this one stays off, then we know it's wired properly. Go ahead and plug it in, and indeed, it is wired properly. Go ahead and test the top one, that one as well. So um, go ahead and sticking this thing back in. Now, I do want to test out, uh, there is a test button on here and a reset button. So I want to make sure that the uh, uh, it does break properly and so we're going to hit this bottom button and indeed it, it did go ahead and um, broke, broke and these lights went off and to reset it you just hit this upper button right here and there you go, it's back on. So I hope this video helped you out how to wire these things on. It's Pretty easy, just like a normal receptacle with a couple of little tweaks, but uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.